Hey everyone, Scooby-Doo here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing a review on the 1-6 scale Sideshow Luke Skywalker Deluxe. And um, yeah, before I start the review on that, let me do another review really quickly on the Hot Toys Ray. I'm going to put her in here really quickly. Um, this figure here is awesome. It's fantastic. If you're a fan of the sequels, if you're just a completist and just like to collect figures, she is fantastic. Articulation, the head sculpt, the accessories, everything is great. I love it. All right, so there we go. I do reviews where I like the figures. Not always a negative Nelly. <laughs> oh boy. Where to start with this figure? I, I don't want to... I go to church every goddamn Sunday. You gonna bring the demons out of me? Oh, Rico, you got him. Rico. Not the trash can, buddy. Yes. All right. So this sideshow figure here, I want to first... Let's start off with some of the positives or just the okay parts of this package that you get. And we shall start off with, let's see, uh, the lightsaber, which is right here. Uh, now, when I got mine, it was bent, and it still is a little bit bent. Uh, I have to work on it a little bit. They did do a feature on this. Um, I don't know if you can see here where it's kind of bent, but you can kind of whatever. Um, this is the actual saber. It comes in two parts. Again, I, I don't know if you can see where it's kind of off. I've I've bent it pretty much in in line. It's just a little bit crooked as it goes down. Um, what they do is they give you... This goes in here, does it? Yeah. So they give you one lightsaber, and this kind of goes in there so you can have just the lightsaber itself, which isn't that bad. And then you pull this part off. It doesn't light up or anything, but that's okay. Um, you pull that off and you stick this in. Now the interesting thing about this lightsaber is it's not really, other than it being bent, but you can, like I said, you can kind of play with it. Um, they didn't make it just like round, like rounded, like there's actual texture if you can see there. My camera can focus in. Sorry, I don't have a 4K camera. Um, but they did put a little bit of texture here and it's not, they kind of did a new kind of way of doing the saber, which I don't know if it's a positive or a negative, but it's something new. So I think that's kind of a positive, I guess, other than it being crooked. <laughs> so that's somewhat of a positive. Uh, you get this blaster here, which isn't that bad. So that's good. And then you get some extra accessories. Uh, this is his vest that he wore on uh, Tantooine. It's not that bad. It's not a great material, but it's not bad. I wouldn't just give it a negative. It's just kind of okay. Uh, the actual cloak, it is a very heavy material. It is very nice. Uh, there's no wires in it or anything, so I don't think it's going to be as good as the one that came out from Hot Toys. Well, actually, there's nothing um, really that Sideshow does that can compare to Hot Toys. But this isn't that bad. So the cloak is decent. And the lightsaber is bent, but at least they kind of did something new with it. I just kind of have to work with that for a while. And then the vest is okay. And the gun is decent. Um, yeah, so that's it. Oh, I forgot the, like, the best part, I'm sorry, is the box. Now, I'm not being sarcastic with this. Uh, I personally don't care about boxes. I kind of bring them up kind of sarcastically, but I do would like them to make a nice box. I mean, you're paying 200 something dollars. It should be a collector type box. But the artwork, especially they did with the inner sleeve, is really nice. I mean, look at the... And you kind of come around here to the side, and they got this Luke. 
me see if I can get my camera back or I'll just hold it up. So they got this over here and then this back picture. Look at the art. I mean, they did a really good job here on the top. Look at that. So although you might be thinking I'm kind of being sarcastic, I'm not. They actually really did a good job on the artwork. Very, very impressive. Again, I'm not being sarcastic. That's They actually did a decent job on that. Now onto the figure. And you might have noticed uh, look at this here. I had this one here. Now this is my kit bash Luke that I made uh, a few years back because um, they didn't have any newer Jedi Lukes. And so I made my own kit bash. Um, Sideshow just has sideshow in general just they they can't compete with hot toys at all but they just really especially they can't make luke um i got their x-wing luke which was terrible that i had a kit bash they came out with the snow speeder luke which is also not very good which i also did a kit bash on and then i did this kit bash and then i also did a tantooine luke and I also did a kit bash on that. And that's kind of the reason why I purchased this figure because I don't want you to think that I'm a... So anyways, I bought this figure because I wanted to get the extra accessories to upgrade my kit bashes. And I'll just show you really quickly. We'll just kind of go in the other room. This is my kit bash X-Wing Luke that I made. And I used a bunch of different parts. I used some heads, I used a head sculpt, used some stuff from Hasbro, from Metacom. And then talking about, flip this light on. This is my Tantooine Luke. And this is what I'm talking about with the robe. I wanted to upgrade his robe. And so that was the whole purpose of buying this one. I, I, I kind of know I was doing this at a risk by going with the Sideshow. And then also too, this Luke here was going to be my indoor Luke. Um, I took off his indoor outfit just because I wanted to show you the two different figures here. So now let's get into all of the negative stuff with this figure. Uh, you can see first, he does not look like the Luke that's on the box. At least I don't think so. Um, but that's kind of subjective. But you can see here his suit, although it's okay, it just goes up way too high on his, on his neck. It's like it's pushed up. And I've tried to pull it down. Uh, so his outfit's really not that good. It doesn't fit him very well. And then his uh, hands, especially this one. Now, some of his other hands are okay, but look at his hands. kind of reminds me of E.T. I mean, the knuckles and the, it's just weird. It's just really weird. Now, these are all the different hands that you get in the box. And some of them are okay. But this one in particular is just really weird. It's like, look at his fingers. Very, very odd. So you have the fact that he really doesn't, this head sculpt isn't that great. Uh, the Jedi outfit, I do like how this kind of folds down, but I think it's too white. And again, it just doesn't fit him very well on the shoulders and the neck. It just, it's just up too high. And then, um, let's see what else. It's just, there's just so much negative. I don't like being negative, but just real. I mean, I don't think I need to tell you not to buy this. <laughs> but um, his belt is so cheap. I really don't want to take it off again, but hmm, let me see. It's not like the Hot Toys one that was like a Velcro. It was really nice quality. This is a... A really cheap 
faux leather, I think, and it's just got these little holes in it, and they're gonna stretch out. They're not reinforced. I'm really holding this really lightly because this just is not gonna hold up. It is not gonna hold up at all. In fact, if I were to kind of stretch this out, which I'm not gonna do, it, it feels like it's just gonna break. It literally, like, I don't know why they did this. Well, I know why, Sideshow is cheap, but. So the belt is really bad. Uh, the boots aren't bad though, the boots are fine. And the articulation is fine. It's, you know, it's a regular one six scale figure. Now onto his other belt. This is for his poncho. This is plastic. This buckle right here is plastic. It's a plastic, it's just, this, I think they may have called Hasbro and asked them if they had any extra belts lying around. This is just garbage, absolute garbage. So their belts are garbage. Um, the head sculpt again, it's not, I don't think it looks like what's on the box. Uh, this doesn't fit well. And let's see what else. Okay, so now the poncho. The poncho is really lightweight. It does have these areas for the belt, so I will give it that. But it's not that much better than the poncho that I was using, which is right here. This is a Hasbro. This is what I use for part of my, for part of my kit bash for my indoor Luke. It, it almost feels exactly the same. It's just a little bit smaller because you know Hasbro makes a larger figure, so. I will upgrade and use this, but it's not really an upgrade for material or look so much, it's just that it's smaller. So, just really cheap. And then the final thing, and this is the thing that just gets me the most about Sideshow, and again, I'm trying not to get upset with this, it's, it, it is what it is. Uh, it's kind of my fault for buying the Sideshow, but I don't know what Sideshows do. I guess Sideshow just says, you know what, we're just not gonna do figures anymore. We just want to just put this one out, have it a total epic fell. And I guess really too, the only reason why I'm keeping this is sometimes when things are such an epic fell, sometimes they have value. So I'm just going to hope that maybe this somehow this is going to have value to it. But here's the last part. And this was kind of my fault. I didn't read the description well enough, but the indoor Luke is one piece. This isn't a separate helmet. It's all in one. It's just a molded helmet. I mean, there is some material here, some cloth material for his chin strap, but it doesn't look anything like the chin strap on the picture. You can see they have it kind of detailed, scrunched up. Uh, so it does not look like the picture at all, but it's all one piece and it's plastic. This is plastic. It's all, uh, this is like Hasbro, like literally, like, I, I don't understand it. I really don't. I guess I'm going to have to use this. I wanted to actually use him as my Jedi and use my kit bash for my indoor, but now I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Look at that. All of this is just plastic. It's all, this isn't come, this isn't one, this is all one piece. And I'll show you the one that I was using in my kit bash. This is the one actually from Sideshow from years ago. And this is the one I was using. It came in the Rebels uh, figure kit. This is kind of like a metal, and it's all separate. It's actually like a helmet. And this is cloth up here. Now, on my original display, I actually have Luke holding, I actually had this Luke holding it, because um, you can't really put it on its head because they used to make the figures kind of larger, so this is kind of too large for him to wear. But my plan was, is I thought I was getting a helmet in this kit and I was going to put this one back in the box so I could sell the figure complete and then use that one. But 
Yeah, I, I, I don't get it. How can they, I, I don't understand how they get away with doing this. Now, it, it's always best just to get Hot Toys. Again, this was my fault for getting the Sideshow. I understand that. But just that Sideshow would put this out. Now, one bit of good news, and it's kind of bad news in the same, is that Hot Toys is actually going to be coming out later this year with another kind of set like this, even though they already came out with a Jedi Luke, they're going to be coming out with another one where you can get the helmet and you can get some other outfits. So uh, if you are looking for an indoor Luke, you can kit bash one like I did, or just wait till the end of the year and buy the one from Hot Toys. But this sideshow was just absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. I'm going to make it work. I'm, I'm going to try to stay as, as positive as I can, and I'm going to make it work. And again, this cloak is really nice, and I'll figure out something else to do. Just everything else. Oh, my God. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. You know, his hand's kind of, again, like E.T., like phone home. Wow. Wow. Fantastic, fantastic job, Sideshow. All right, so there we go. Sorry for the kind of all overness about this review. Um, I probably should have scripted it and kind of wrote down some notes before I did it, but I just want to go ahead and put this out. I could have just said, you know, stay away from it. I think most of you probably know already to stay away from it. But I cannot believe Sideshow would put this out. And I know they don't put out that great of stuff anyways, but this is just, oh. I guess that's why there hasn't been any reviews on this yet. Because nobody wants to admit that they actually purchased this. I guess I took one for you guys. I took a bullet for you. I went ahead and, took, I went ahead and bought this uh, just so you didn't have to. So there we go. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We have tons of videos coming out really, really shortly uh, with the Empire Room and everything else. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend, and I shall talk to you guys later.